Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the spa back scrub. It's amazing. I can't wait to share with you how to make it. If at any point in this video, you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out. It's a whole lot of fun. The pattern for the spa body scrub can be located here at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and just pause the video, write that down, go to the website, print off the pattern and be ready to crochet with me. I will also include the pattern in the notes section and the comment section below this video. So all you have to do is click on the link, print off the pattern and be ready to crochet with me. The spa back scrub is a perfect addition to my spa collection that I've created a whole playlist for. After this video, I highly recommend you go check out that playlist because it's full of a bunch of different spa related items that you can make and create a whole gift basket for. I'm still adding to that playlist, so if it looks a little light, it's growing, I promise. All right, once you are ready, let's go ahead and dive into what materials you're gonna need to make the spa back scrub. The materials that you're going to need for the spa back scrub will include a 100% cotton yarn. I used the Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn, the regular size, not the super sized ball. This ball contains 120 yards of yarn, 109 meters, 2.5 ounces, or 70.9 grams of yarn. I used all but about this much of the skein. So about a third of the skein, maybe a fourth of the skein is what was left behind. I also used the Red Heart Scrubby Cotton Yarn. I used these together and that really helped with the exfoliating factor. If you don't have Red Heart, just try to find any really scratchy, the scrubby type of yarn that is used for the exfoliating factor of the spa back scrub. You can use the same color if you want. I am doing so just to keep it very neutral and spa-like, but you can have two completely different colors that you join together. Whatever you wanna do, make it your own. You'll need a crochet hook size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle, tapestry needle to help you weave in your ends at the end of the project. Once you have all of your materials, let's go ahead and head straight to actually making our spa back scrub. We begin by working both of these yarns together. So take both yarns, match them up, and they will be crocheted as one. Start with a long enough tail for you to weave in your ends at the end of the project. Create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. Start by chaining 11 chains. One, two, three, four, 10, 11, great. For row one of our spa back scrub, we will make our first half double crochet in the second chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our V-stitches, one, two, half double crochet in that second chain. If you need to go slow, make your way through the stitch, it's totally fine. The grab of the scrubby yarn can cause more friction, so just take your time with it. You will make one half double crochet in each chain all the way across. You will end row one with a total of 10 half double crochet stitches. Nine and last stitch here. 10, perfect. For row two, let me go ahead and grab some more yarn here. There we go. For row two, we will chain one, one. We will turn our work, and we will make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. You will end row two with a total of 10 half double crochets. Ten, perfect. Chain one, 
turn our work. All right, for every row here on out to the end of row 52, that's right, we're going to repeat row two through the end of row 52. All you're doing is chaining one, turning your work, and making a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. You will end each row, row three through the end of row 52, with a total of 10 half double crochet stitches in each row. What I'm hoping is that this solid yarn is really helping you work with the highly textured yarn. Yes, this creation is creating a textured piece, but it's not so textured that you can't see the individual stitches that you're supposed to be putting your crochet hook in, which makes it very easy to work with. If you are still struggling to see your stitches through the texture of the scrubby yarn, you can absolutely just omit the scrubby yarn and continue to make this project just with the 100% cotton Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. That's totally fine. If you want to substitute, make an alteration to do that because perhaps it's too difficult to see the stitches. What I'm hoping for is that you still can and that you can continue on through, through row 52 using the two strands of yarn. All right, continue on and I will see you very soon to show you what to do next. Great, we have made it to the very end of row 52. What you will do now is you will actually turn your work and then chain 10. We're starting to make the handle part of the spa back scrub. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch into the 10th stitch of row 52. Slip stitch. There we go. Perfect. All right. That was technically row 53. That's what I have it down in, in the pattern as. For row 54, we will chain one, turn our work and make 12 half double crochets in this handle part or this chain two section here. So yarn over and there's one, two, eleven, twelve. Perfect. All right, so now we're actually going to slip stitch back into that 10th stitch of row 52, or technically that would have been the very first stitch since that was the 10th stitch. But either way, the very first stitch of the main body, the row 52. So slip stitch right there. This actually creates kind of a bow in the work, but it also adds an extra secure connection to the handle. All right, so that was row 54. We are on to row 55. Chain one, turn our work, and make one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So that one slip stitch that we just made, we're counting as a stitch. One, two, three, and 13. Perfect. What we will do now, guys, is we will slip stitch back into row 52. Slip stitch. I'm going to grab my scissors, cut off a tail long enough for me to weave in my ends, yarn over my two strands and pull them both through the loop on my crochet hook, tying off the work, and that is handle number one. It's very strong, very sturdy, and it looks great. All right, let's go ahead and move on to handle number two. So handle number two has the side where we, our beginning tail. We're gonna leave the beginning tail alone. I'm gonna keep it out of the work. I'm not gonna crochet it in. I'm gonna wait to the end of the project and just weave that in. All right, so grab your two strands. Two strands here. Okay, begin with a long enough tail for us to weave in our ends. 
create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook. Perfect. All right, we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch here, the corner stitch. So slip stitch, perfect. And then chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <laughs> All right. Slip stitch into the 10th stitch. Slip stitch, perfect. Turning our work. All right, we are now, this would technically be row 57 in the pattern. We're going to chain one. We're going to make 12 half double crochets in the handle or in this chain 10 space. One. two, three, 11, 12. Great, slip stitch back into row 25. Slip stitch, perfect. We are now onto row 58, which is the very last row. Chain one, turn our work. Now you're going to make one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Again, that slip stitch into row 25 added a stitch. That's why it's 13 instead of 12. One, two, three, 12, 13. Great, slip stitch into row 25. Boom, just like that. All right, I've already cut off my yarn, leaving myself a long enough tail. Wanted to actually work this project before I showed it to you. That is why this work is already cut. So all you have to do is yarn over those tails, pull them through the loop on your crochet hook, pull tight for a slip knot, and that handle is now done, secure, and ready to go. Perfect, all right, now that your two handles are made, your spa back scrub is complete. The only thing you have left to do is weave in your ends and you are done. I hope you love it. All right, so what did you think of the spa back scrub? Was it easy? Was it hard? What did you think of the material I used? What did you think of using two yarns at the same time? Let me know in the comment section below. I love getting your feedback. It really helps me to create better tutorials for you. If you liked this project, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.